containers have drastically changed the workflow of many developers. And so you might wonder, how do I run containers on Google Cloud Platform? In this video, we'll review three ways you can run your containers on GCP. While the concepts underlying containers have been around for many years, Docker, Kubernetes, and an entire ecosystem of products and best practices have emerged in the last few years, enabling many different kinds of applications to be containerized. As a developer, containers give you a lot of freedom by letting you package an app with all of its dependencies into an easy-to-move package. The solutions for running containers in GCP vary essentially in how much of the underlying infrastructure is exposed. The first way you can run a container on GCP is to use Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE. As the inventor of Kubernetes, Google quite naturally offers a fully managed Kubernetes service, taking care of scheduling and scaling your containers while monitoring their health and state. Getting your code to production on GKE can be as simple as creating a container deployment with the cluster being provisioned on the fly. Once running, GKE clusters are secure by default, highly available, monitored, and they run on Google Cloud's high-speed network. They can also be fine-tuned for zonal and regional locations and can use specific machine types with optional GPUs or TPUs. GKE clusters also offer hassle-free operations with auto-scaling, auto-repair of failing nodes, and auto-upgrade to the latest stable version of Kubernetes. GKE is also a key component of Anthos, Google Cloud's enterprise hybrid and multi-cloud platform. With Anthos, you can also migrate existing VMs directly into containers and move your workloads freely between on-premises and cloud environments, such as GCP. What if you could focus on building your stateless app, not on writing YAML files, and still deliver code packaged in a container? The second way you can deploy your containers on Google Cloud is with Cloud Run. This gives you the benefits of both containers and serverless. There is no cluster or infrastructure to provision or manage, and Cloud Run automatically scales any of your stateless containers. Creating a Cloud Run service with your container only requires selecting a location, giving it a name, and setting authentication requirements. Cloud Run supports multiple requests per container, and it works with any language, any library, any binary, and even any base Docker image. The result is serverless with true pay for usage, the ability to scale to zero, and full out of the box monitoring, logging, and error reporting. Because Cloud Run is built using the Knative open source project, which offers a serverless abstraction on top of Kubernetes, you can have your own private hosting environment and deploy the exact same container workload on Cloud Run for Anthos in GCP or on prem. The third option for deploying your containers is straight to Google Compute Engine, or GCE. That's right. You can leverage your familiar virtual machine environment to run your containers. This means using your existing workflow and tools without requiring your team to ramp up on all things cloud native. When creating a GCE virtual machine, the containers section will let you specify the image you'd like to use, as well as a few important options. When you get to the boot disk section, the suggested virtual machine OS is something called a container optimized OS, an operating system optimized for running Docker containers and maintained by Google. This operating system image comes with a Docker runtime pre-installed, thus enabling you to bring up your Docker container at the same time you create your virtual machine. But it also lacks most of what you expect to find in a typical Linux distribution, such as a package manager and many other binaries. This means a lockdown environment that ensures a smaller attack surface, keeping your container runtime as safe as possible. The great thing about running your containers on Compute Engine is that you can still create scalable services using managed instance groups, as they offer auto-scaling, auto-healing, rolling updates, multi-zone deployment, and load balancing for the compute instances. Where do these container images come from? Where do I store them? How do I version them? And how do I restrict access to them? The answer lies in Google Container Registry, or GCR which is a private by default container registry that runs on GCP with consistent uptime and across multiple regions. You can push, pull, and manage images in GCR from any system, VM instance, or your own hardware, and maintain control over who can access, view, and download those images. Note also how you can conveniently deploy to all three runtimes we've discussed straight from container registry. 
deploy to Cloud Run, to Container Engine, and to Compute Engine. Container Registry works with popular containers delivery systems, such as Cloud Build, Spinnaker, or Jenkins, to automatically build containers on code or tag changes to a repository. Finally, Container Analysis scans container images stored in the registry for known vulnerabilities and keeps you informed so that you can review and address issues before deployment. Google Cloud offers you three solid ways to run your containers ranging from a fully managed Kubernetes environment to a truly serverless platform. Pick the solution that works best for you and start deploying your containerized workloads today. Consider trying some free code labs linked in the description below to explore these products. And look forward to upcoming episodes and more overviews. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and look forward to more GCP Essentials videos.